Thank you. 
From their heart, if they see, see any qualified devotee, disciple or devotee, automatically endless stream of bhakti rush through the past and sweet pastimes of Krishna begin to come. 
those who are so lucky, fortunate, they can take bath in that. And their life will be successful. Then they will forget forever their lust, their eating, drinking, making merry. Also, all kinds of fear, everything, all their unwanted, unwanted things, all will go offensive also. And they will very soon have pure prema bhakti in the Lord's sight of Krishna. He asked Sukhdev, do you want to take water? Oh no, no, Gurudev. I don't want to take water. I am drinking the portion of rush from your mouth. I don't need anything. Go on, is the thing. Sweet past times of Krishna. So anyone will hear the sweet past times of Krishna. Oh, certainly they will have very soon prema bhakti. Their anath will go away. And he has nothing to worry for death and sufferings and sorrows. Then Sudha Goswami again began to utter Hari Katha. Now Krishna and Balde go there. Supreme Personality of Godhead. Balde is not different from Krishna. Only two bodies are seen. Actually, they are both one. But then Krishna has appeared in the body of Baldev in this incarnation only to teach how to serve Krishna. So Baldev Prabhu is actually Akhanda Guru Tattva. So he teaches us how to serve conjugal Krishna or Krishna. All the tattva he gives. So, with Krishna, uh, with in the Braj now, now they have become more than 30 days and they are now coming in like a, as a boy of one year, one year, two year, great. As we have, we, from childhood to, we come to boyhood, and from boyhood to young age, young age to old age, these yesterdays are not in Krishna. But in Prakat Lila, in that Lila, he is Nitya Navakshor Natavarmu. In teenage, very beautiful, never becomes old, never becomes young, always teenage, very beautiful. But yet in Prakat Lila, it is seen so many stages. And he has manifested all these things to increase love and affection of devotees. So, Krishna being Supreme Personality of Godhead and Baldev, even they are naked now. At first they used to move here and there on their knees, crawling. crawling. Sometimes they can see any serpent and they used to catch them. Other saying, oh, she become, used to become so well. Sometimes they give, used to give their hands in the mouth of dogs and all dogs. 
And then go, dogs, very common. They began to, uh, they used yeah. to begin yeah. to here and there. It's lovely. Sometimes Krishna saw that there are some very bo- big bulls. Hmm? Very, very ferocious. And Krishna and Baldevi used to catch their horns and used to do like this and play with them. And they used to play with Krishna. Sometimes when they are crawling, and they used to when uh, used to walk till the door of house, outer door. And when he used to see anyone, oh, they remember used to remember their mothers and quickly, as a fear, they used to turn at once and quickly. They used to come to the laps of their mothers. And what mothers used to do? By their bell, oh, like this, you know, crossing, and they used to take in their laps, crossing their hair, and tears in their eyes, heart melted, and used to get their breast in the mouth of Krishna. Sometimes some gopi used to come. in the courtyard of Yasoda Maya. Yasoda Maya was engaged in sorting or any other job. What jobs? For repairing anything for Krishna. She has no any other job. Always engaged in serving of Krishna. When she was doing any job, or oh, always remembering. How remembering? She was doing. How? That Krishna will. What do? Crawling. He will. Crawl. That is why she is neat, making neat and clean. And at that time she is singing like Govinda Sometimes doing like this, grinding it, and doing like this. Govinda Some son, she used to walk in very hard. She used to give some grenades, some grenades to Paris, see Paris. And you to tell all, oh, you should also utter like me. <coughs> what utter? Not just to Dhamma Yavali. All the bridge will be like this. All the bridge in their hearts. Always remembering Krishna and doing some thoughts. For Krishna. Never also that Krishna will come to steal some makkhan, butter in my house. Oh, she, he will surely come. And she used to think that how should I catch hold of Krishna? How should I, uh, by any trick, I will catch hold of Krishna? So always in this way. All things. Sometimes all the gopis doing all this in the morning at seven, they used to collect to come in the house of Yasoda. Why? To see Krishna. <coughs> he was so beautiful that they have all sons, but 
they have no so much love and affection as they have love and affection for Krishna. They want it all and oh, we want that Krishna should be our son and we can give best him and love and affection, Shakti. All gopi. Even cows, sometimes Kami used to come in Nanda Bhavan and they used to stand up there and Krishna and Baldev used to go there and do like this and spontaneous milk coming to their mouths. They used to think that Krishna should be my son and I can give and I can love and affection as to Krishna like this. Everyone. So sometimes they used to come to see Krishna. How they come? Oh, now your Krishna has become more bigger, bigger and bigger one coming. Sometimes he goes to our houses and which we kept, keep some butter here and there. She so goes, this is monkey's brothers. His friends are like monkeys. Dam, Siddham, Subal, Madhumangal, all so many, always this Krishna, all naked, Digambar, like Chatushan, Balakhilya Rishi, they used to be with Krishna. So they are complaining to Jasoda. Jasoda is not fortunate like us. Krishna comes and is still here and there, plays here and there. But in his own house, he not selling and not doing. So Jasoda is not fortunate that he can see all the sweet pastimes, but we are so fortunate. So, in the way of Complaining. complaining, not complaining, but complaining that Jasoda should know how sweet he is, son. So you used to complain something. Oh, your boy has become so naughty. So enters in our houses and does so and so, he still butter and gives this butter to monkeys and to his friends. Sometimes he sends his that friend to his mother, tells her, hey, you should go. We are here hiding in the shade of a tree or anywhere and you should go and tell your mother that your cough, cough has huh? run away. Anyone has left him, opened his binding and he is taking the milk of his mother. And in this that Gopi used to run away to a stall. But in the meantime Krishna used to go into his home and used to take butter and makkhan and so on. Sometimes the used to be hidden there and Krishna will surely come, so they are hidden. And when they, Krishna comes and gets hand in that paw, at once they begin to catch hold of Krishna. Why you did so? Oh Mother, I knew that this is my home. I never thought that if you are not my mother, so I came here because you are my mother and this is my home. So I never thought that you will cast hold of and you will beat me. And seeing he began to smile and the gopi and catch hold and taking his hand from his hand and used to smile. Sometimes a gopi is telling to mother, oh today I catch rendered, ran handed. <coughs> I asked him, why you came? You came to stealing butter. stealing butter? No mother. Today I was playing with my calf and he ran away and he jumped in this pot. I followed him. 
So I was searching where my coffee. Oh, your cough has jumped in this pot. Yes, and he used to take a marble. So I thought. So I thought. And they began to laugh. And in the meantime, he used to run away from there. The supreme personality of God. Krishna wants always to give pleasure to his bhakti. All, all in incarnation, like, not like Krishna. Anyone can worship Krishna, but Krishna wants to worship and to serve their devotee. They have some idea that Krishna should come to my house and he should just do water in my house. So Krishna is coming. Otherwise Krishna will never come to anyone. Durjodhan, you know, he was so rich person and he made preparations of so many things. In golden pot, golden glass, he gave water and preparation. Also many that do peda, kachauri, puri, so many things. But when he prayed to Krishna that he used to take, Krishna told, I have no appetite, so I cannot take. But if there is no appetite, but where there is love and affection, we can take anything, but you have no love and affection for me. Thirdly, I have come for a task, for a, yeah. Nice proposal. <laughs> proposal. But you have not completed that proposal. So how can it be? I am not beggar. I am not hungry. I am not uh, like this. So how can it be? But in the same time, after a moment he went to Vidu and he began to tell, Oh, I am so hungry. Oh, Vidurani Maya, I am so hungry. Please give me something. And Budrani, out of affection, he began to give bananas upper part. Peel. Huh? Peel. Peel. And he began to fill up, fill, throw. Throw, but inside thing, man thing. Krishna was taking with very love and affection, as sweet, more than he used to test in the preparations of Dvarka. Arupmani and Sattvana, and he was so much absorbed in taking. And then in their time, Vidur came and said, Oh, Pujarani, what you are doing? Krishna told that, don't tell his not in sense. He is absorbed in, fully in transcendental love. And then when Vidur told to Vidurani what you are doing, then he came in contact. And he began to give that thing, throat, and throwing a scale, pill. Krishna tells that, oh, now, not so tasteful <laughs> as it was. So Krishna never becomes hungry. He wants to test the mood of us, throw anything. He never takes plantain, rabadi, milk, or anything. He wants to take the essence of all the truths. What is the essence? Love and affection. If anything is given by love and affection, and there is love and affection, and if he is not giving, he will take forcibly. And if there is no love and affection, he will never take it. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to quarrel with Siddhar. Always. And Siddhar, I will not give. I am a very poor person. Oh, you should not take. You should go to others. And he used to take his mocha, banana flower, banana flower and other things. Hmm? So, this is the nature of Krishna. So, Krishna is not beggar. He is full of all appulences. But yet he comes in press to serve, to play with his all associates. 
So he is not playing like this. Sometimes some gopis are come to see Krishna and Baldev. Krishna and Baldev at the age of one and a half they used, now they have begun walking very little little. They can stand up and sometimes they can fell down also. Some gopis came and they became divided in two parties. One took part of Baldev and one was in the party of Krishna. The party of Krishna, the gopis are telling that Krishna is so strong, why can he defeat Baldev? And party of Baldev Prabhu are telling, no, no, Baldev is more stronger than Krishna. And Krishna and Baldev now understanding something. And then gopis are telling that if Krishna will defeat Baldev, then I will give a love to Krishna. And the party of Baldev Prabhu, if Baldev will win this battle, then we will give a love to Baldev. And then they inspired them to wrestle. And then Baldev Prabhu naked, quite naked. And Krishna began to go like this and that. It will be strong. Sometimes Baldev used to defeat Krishna, but in the meantime, oh, just turning. And Krishna used to defeat Baldev, and Baldev used to defeat. And they say clapping all of his head in this way. So, Krishna is now somewhat bigger. One day, <coughs> One day Jas Jasoda told Krishna, Krishna, today is your birthday. Ashtami, you should go and bring a cow. And you should worship the feet of that cow. Cow means she cow, God. Krishna became so happy, though he was naked, only chain of golden chain was there twinkling, twinkling. And Krishna, from where this sound is coming? And he never knew that it is coming from here and he was looking here and there. Anyhow, he went to any cow, very beautiful sea cow, like white snow. Like swan, are so, so white, so white, and so what? Stout, healthy, so healthy, and jumping. Krishna wanted to catch, but was jumping. Anyhow, Krishna catch hold, and he wanted to bring it. Krishna was trying to bring, and he four legs he did like that. <laughs> There was wrestling between them. <laughs> Anyhow, Krishna brought it in the courtyard and he saw that there is some pot hanging, hanging on any rope. And he saw that it must be sweet butter. Now he forget that he should bring cloth there. And he was, he has so much greed for butter. butter. How to get? It was so high. There was no anything, ladder or anything. There was no friends that he will climb up, one, climb up one by one and take. There was no street. How to do? So when the cop was there, she thought that, he thought that, if I will stand on leaves, very easily I can. So he began to try to be on that cough. And at once when he began to do cough, uh, what? Jumped up. Krishna has taken that pot in his hand, but cough ran away and Krishna was hanging. 
And now, as a peer, he was calling, Oh mother, oh mother, oh mother, and crying bitterly. Mother was turning, and he heard the weeping sound of weeping sound of Krishna. And she smiled and ran away. And he came. How it becomes? Hmm? You should be like that. I will never touch you. I will punish you also for this. So you should be like that. I will never. And then Krishna began to weep more loudly, mother, mother, mother. Then the soda. So he was so naughty in wife. And that is why he has so love, a love and affection of all the gopis and especially his mother. One day, the Shoda thought that he has become not selling butter in other neighbor's houses. So I must give a very less good. So he was thinking. I think I see that my boy. One day he heard from a gopi. She heard from a gopi. Gopi told that today in morning, very morning, he has gone to still in my house. He saw that everything is kept very carefully. Uh, there was no nothing to still, no butter here and there. His boy was, his son was sleeping, a very little boy, like your son. He was sleeping and Krishna pinched so much that he began to cry. <laughs> if you will not keep butter and then I will do like this. And he used to, to break, he used to break all the pots here and there. One day a gopi was waiting for Krishna. The friend Krishna wife will come, I will call, catch a rent her, rent her, and I will take it to Jasoda because he has no trust in our world. So now she will see the, the naughtiness of his boy. So in very morning, it was so dark, Krishna alone came and he was just stealing butter like this and that, that's, anyone cannot catch me. But Gopi was prepared for catching him. So when Krishna was giving and seeing in the meeting time, from anywhere that Gopi came and cast ran the head. Oh, I will take you to Master Jasoda and then he will have some faith on us that your boy is now and a very great thief. So when she came to Nanda house, Jasoda, he was crying that, Oh Jasoda, Oh Jasoda, come and see that I have caught run handed your son. He has become thief. You don't believe, but now today you will have to believe. So when Jasoda came, he saw that his boys, Krishna was sleeping on the bed. Can you wear the mission? And when the gopi, took out his, the cloth from the mouth of the face of Krishna. Oh, both saw that the, he, he, he was his son, her son, who had caught it. And Krishna again now coming, waiting, Oh mother, oh mother, she, these are telling all lies, I never told them. <laughs> <laughs> all are lies. I just go and see love. Now I will go and <laughs> take butter. So doing so many things. So Jasoda thought that all gopis prepare Makkhan with love and affection to give Krishna and so they are so sweet. <coughs> but my butter I don't do with my hands. My servants, my servants do it. So today, from today I will milk the house with my own and I will put it on fire and give some 
flower thing in there and that it will be very sweet curd and then myself I will journey and with makkhan will come it will be very sweet and Krishna happily which taste he will take thinking this on the day of Deepavali you know Deepavali day in India Deepavali day just so that sent all his servants mere servants even Rohini Maya he sent to with Baldev to Upananda house. Upananda is brother of Nanda Baba, eldest brother. So she sent there because there was none to help in the power. So Jasoda sent all and he was himself in the morning, so morning when it arnoda and he was chanting. Jasoda was so beautiful. Otherwise, Krishna can how be beautiful? If mother is ugly, son cannot be. So, Jasoda so was so beautiful. How beautiful? So beautiful that his breast was so much broad and this twist was so thin. So, as if it will be broken down if he does like this. And she has taken very fine reshmi with the reshmi, silk and In India at that time silk and cloth, the arts were so high. A cloth about ten yards. At that time they were so artists, they used to make it so. The ten yard cloth used to come in one finger's nail. So fine. Just what I was wearing, taken a second. Oh, silk and cloth. Though he has taken, covered with silk and cloth, but his beauty was coming through, uh, through cloth. Very beautiful. No? She has taken some chain, golden chain, and anklet, bangle, bangle thing, and he was charging. In a pillar, he has twisted some rashi rope and two ends like this, and doing. Ah, very good. <laughs> Krishna is so attractive that if thousand type person are there, in any his action he will attract all. So boys are like this. So, what? Shivachan. How charming? Remembering the past tense, sweet past tense, balya, balya means childhood child, childhood, past tense of Krishna, and child. Govinda Dhamo Dharma singing and partly absorbed in Krishna. His eyes were like closed, closed, but tears were coming. Heart was melting. And when she was churning, then the sound coming from churning is was like the Mridang's second side, where it comes big, big, in tabla also, having cloth, spot and bigger one, 
और धिक धिक तन तन बात सिंगिंग ऑन ट्यून ऑफ दैट धिक तान धिक तान एंड इज Just to do what like karta, very sweet karta, and the the dwani, some coming from chanting, like Madanga. Those who don't worship Krishna, don't remember Krishna, fly to them, fly on, fly on. Hey, she was totally upset. In the meantime, Krishna over from the bed and searching mother, why mother? I closed, but he was searching mother, mother, mother. No mother, mother was there. So he began to weep. How they can call? Oh, mother, they cannot call. Only Rogana, only crying, weeping. began to be and that she was doing like that not like this like this at first there were no tears only kajal was there black glory 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 yeah oh big big oil and just as i have poured They are called all very big, long, long. And after that, you see, he could not find her mother. Then he began to weep. I am so hungry, and Martha has gone anywhere. So he was weeping. After some time, he saw that ma- mother is not hearing. Oh, he is there and chanting and singing. So he began to weep more loudly, more loud. But Even mother is not coming. Then he began to come down of that cot. But cot was so high, how to come? He can jump from ocean, whole ocean and whole world, but he cannot come from his get down from his cot. Anyhow. Uh, with the side of stomach anyhow with great labor <laughs> anyhow he came down and began to walk towards mother sometimes going here sometimes because he was uh, still there was semblance of sleepness and waiting also tears now are in his eye now going so The tears with that chlorium all began to come like this Ganges and Jamuna. Yeah. He was black, and after that, this black made him all more black. <laughs> He was weeping louder, 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 louder. But Jasoda was so upset when singing and chanting. The songs were so much that he could not. She could not. At last, he came very near, and he he caught hold of his steel, turning steel, and other hand with right hand he caught hold the bell of the soda here. The soda said that how it was stopped in the chain, so he looked back and saw that oh, Krishna is waiting here. So at once he left, turned, and took Krishna in his lap. <coughs> Krishna was waiting, so by his her bell, he took something and he pacified Krishna and began to caressing Krishna, and he gave his breast in the mouth of Krishna. Now Krishna was. Krishna stopped weeping, but Jasoda began to weep, not loudly, but 
tears came out of love. Out of love. Tears began to come. And she has some extending tears. All this system, Arshaswatik Dikar, came in Yasuda. Harsar, Mancha, Kampai, and all others. Eight. And also, baby child, Shweet began to come. As a pearl, as pearls coming from face. So she was objecting this. And Krishna was shocking. But we came after, in the meantime, Krishna was not satisfied. He, he was even, even, he was hungry some. And in the meantime, Jasoda saw nearby, on the fire, that a vessel, a, a pot containing milk, the milk was coming out on fire. This was the thought that the milk is person and he is thinking that I am not serving Krishna. Krishna, the stomach is so big that whole world can come in this, his stomach. And Jasoda, milk in his breast is so much that lax and lax Khir Samudra can be entered there. Inter there. So all the milk in ocean, Khir Samudra, is a part, a very little part of Jasoda milk. So Jasoda is thinking that this milk thinks that Krishna's appetite is so big, his stomach is so big, and Jasoda has endless ocean of milk. If Krishna will take it for long, long time, for lakhs and lakhs years, the milk will not be finished. And, and the milk will never be and finish. So she thinks that I will never chance, I will have never chance in my life to serve Krishna. So no need of keeping life. If any bhakta, there is a bhakta. What is the symptom of bhakta? He will feel separation. That my body, my mind, my all senses are not engaged in serving Krishna, so I should die. What is the use of living? We are not thinking so. A desire like this not coming in us, so we are not good sadhana. When this will come in a sadhana, that Krishna will at once appear and give his service. Or any bhakta like Yasoda will come and he will give chance to serve Krishna and she will engage in the service of Krishna. So the Yasuda saw that this milk is falling on where? Fire. That I will give up my life in fire. Yasuda told, Oh, I will serve afterward. First I will engage you in service of Krishna. So real bhakta, a guru like this, engaged new, new uh, devotees to serve Krishna. So the job of Gurudev, what is? He will engage qualified souls in serving Krishna. Those who have eagerness to serve Krishna, but those who have no eager, they will not help. Swarja Sota Mija, like a guru of Bhaskar Laras, he wants to help that milk. So quickly, he wanted to give up Krishna here to see by side and to run to save that boy. So guru 
tendency and mood is like this. To help others, to serve Krishna, it is best, his best duty. So Jyosoda Maya wanted to keep Krishna seat aside. You know that Uttana having the uh, power of so many thousand elephants, but he could not get rid of Krishna. And Krishna was all only six days. And now Krishna is more stronger. And when he saw that Yasoda wants to keep me here, then he catch hold like monkeys, his mother, like this. And from feet he began to rap so strongly. And by mouth, very tightly, his all senses were engaged. I will not give up Yasoda Maya and this prayer. But Yasoda Maya, very quickly, very easily, ah, yes, what's it here? <laughs> and Krishna was so, hmm, he was supreme personality of God, God and so appliances, so much power to defeat whole world, hmm, Keshi, Agha, Baka, all, Putanashi, Nakaspu, Raman, but he could not resist. He was defeated by Yasoda Maya. I have one hand very easily. Oh, yes, of sit here. And Krishna was helpless. So you should know. This is a good shiksha. What? Lesson to all. That if anyone has so kind, such kind of bhakti to Krishna, Krishna becomes like a baby. His all powers goes away by Yog Maya, and he becomes helpless. He wanted to catch hold of Jasoda Maya and to drink the, bell, um, the breast of Jasoda Maya quickly kept him. And he began to weep loudly, and he became some angry that she, I am not uh, uh, fulfilled my hunger, and yet he has kept me and he has gone to save milk. Here, one thing we will have to see, that those who serve Krishna, they also keep care of the thing by which Krishna is served. The utensil by which Krishna is served by cloth, by float, by the things, pick up feather and all these things. Yasoda Maya used to keep attention more than Krishna to these things. Why? This is the nature of us. In this world we, can, we don't see so much, but something we can see. When Krishna used to make dirty his cloth, then Jasoda used to give some slaps to Krishna. Oh, you are so naughty. Just now I have washed your cloth and you are making dirty. Krishna is weeping and Jasoda is keeping aside, is going to save milk. Why? In milk, there is two things, milk and Krishna. To whom Srimati Radhika affection is better, more. For Krishna the cloth and milk are, or for milk Krishna. Understand what I am telling? Milk is to satisfy Krishna. Eh? So we should give our whole attention to satisfy Krishna. But Jasoda, we see Jasoda opposite. Keeping aside Krishna, Krishna is raping no harm and she is going to save me. Why? Sometimes he gives a slap Krishna for cloths. These cloths are for, to, for Krishna, serving of Krishna. Why they do like so? Why Jasoda is 
giving slap Krishna for these claws. Why? This is the nature of pure bhakti. That is why those who serve Krishna, Krishna has no so much affection for them, those who serve bhakti bhakta. The servant of bhakta of bhakta. Krishna becomes so happy with them. Understand what I am telling? What? saying that those who serve Krishna directly, hmm. that Krishna will not be as pleased with them as those who serve those who are related to Krishna, specifically... So, if anyone is directly serving Krishna and one is serving a Radhika, to whom Krishna will be more... To whom? Why? Because serving that person who is most dear to Krishna. But anyone is serving Rup Manjari who is serving Srimati Radhika, Rup Manjari. And anyone is serving Rup Manjari, then Krishna where? To whom he will? Oh, 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 you are servant of Rup Manjari. Oh, I shall give you everything. What do you want? So this is the nature of bhakti. So Yasuda meant to share that milk. That milk was for Krishna. If there was no milk, Yasoda is thinking that only my breast milk will not save Krishna. It makhan will cannot come from my milk. Butter will not come. Sweet milk cannot, cannot be prepared by my milk. And for other, for evening, how butter will come? From milk, butter will not come. So, it is very essential to shape that milk and cement. But Krishna was weeping. If Krishna is weeping, what you should see? Understand. Krishna is angry or not angry. From upper externally, externally you will see that he is angry. But externally, internally, he is so much angry. So much. Though is breathing. So, Krishna was thinking that my mother has gone, give it me here without satisfying me, so I will give it less. He stood up and began to upset that vessel containing butter. But he was not so strong that he can do. He saw that he cannot do anything. Although he was, he killed Putana, but now he is so big that he cannot move this Hilana Dulana. He cannot shake that. So he began to think, what should I do? He, he forgets his all appellant. If love is there, Krishna can forget you, all appearance and everything. So Krishna forgets you, all appearances. And he became ignorant and so weak. He began to think, what should I do? And in the meantime he saw a son of stone. A stone. What is a son of a stone? In India, a piece, on a piece of stone, flat, the grindle, so many mesala, spices, and so many things. Grinding stone. Uh, like this. Now, to run as fast as he can. So then, you showed him life, she began to run after him. Oh, you friend of a monkey, you come here. <laughs> and but Krishna was running like this in a zigzag way, and Madhya showed her she is very healthy, her body is quite healthy, so she cannot run also aged. so fast, and a little older as well, not so young. So it was difficult for her to run and catch Krishna. He was so nimble. So Krishna would run, 
And sometimes he showed I would Mother Yashoda would get out of breath and stopping for some breath and say, Krishna, come here, you are a thief. Then Krishna would say, Oh, why 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 are you saying I'm a thief? There is no thief in my dynasty. Uh-huh. In the dynasty of Nanda Baba there is no thief. Perhaps there's some thief in your dynasty, like this. So she came and he would run away. Why? Because he has heard uh, Yashoda Maya and Nanda Baba talking. They have in the family of Madhya Shoda, some generations before, there was a personality, his name was Chor Ghosh. So Chor means thief. So Krishna remembered, in the dynasty of Yashoda Maya, there was someone named Chor. So he was saying to his mother, Oh, I think in my dynasty, the dynasty of Nanda Baba, there is no Chor. But there is some Chor in your dynasty. <laughs> and then he ran away, like this. And then she would be running after him again. Oh, he said, she, she asked, he asked, why you are chastising me? Krishna asked, why are you chastising me? What, I, often I have what did I do? I have not done anything. And he showed up. Maya, who she said, who has broken this vessel? And then Krishna, he explained, oh mother, when you were going there to get the milk, then you know, you wear very heavy ankle bells. So as you were leaving, your ankle bell, which is so heavy, hit the pot and the pot broke. I know that. I, I have not done anything. Oh, Mr. do you are? <laughs> oh, you are a liar. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this way, many sweet arguments were going on. And finally, you showed, uh, Krishna, then he thought, what to do? I will run. I will not run around the room. I will go outside. Why? Because my mother, she will not run around in the road. Because in the Vedic culture, uh, the ladies, they don't go outside alone in the street. And he thought, if she goes outside, it will be very embarrassing for her to be running around. So Krishna, he thought, I will run outside. She will not come after me there. So Krishna, he ran outside. And Mother Shoda, she came to the door. I thought, oh, what to do? Then she looked left and right. Oh, no one's watching, and then she also, then she also ran outside and ran after him. Finally, when Madhya Shoda, she caught him, she grabbed his hand. With her left hand, she took the right hand of Krishna, and in the other hand of Yashoda, she had, she was carrying a stick. And Krishna, he was so afraid, he was running this way and this way around her legs to try to get away from the stick. He was yeah. so afraid. Here there is a teaching. Krishna is sadha. And sadha, bhakta, devotee is like sadha. Sadha means practitioner. And Krishna, like his object of love. Krishna is running. And Jasada Maya is running after Krishna to catch hold. Jasada will have to run more fast than Krishna, otherwise he cannot. If any, there is a thief hmm, running, and there is a policeman who is falling, but a police cannot run more than this then he cannot catch hold. So Krishna is running and Yasoda is running. Yasoda must run run first than Krishna. Otherwise he cannot. But anyone cannot run first than Krishna. But a devotee should practice in such a way he should have so much love and affection more than Krishna. Krishna has some affection for devotees, and devotees have some affection for object Krishna. But if it is equal, Krishna loves the devotee, and devotee loves Krishna, both are equal, then Krishna will not be controlled. But if the love and affection in any sadhak is more than Sadhak or any devotee. More than Krishna. Krishna has some affection for devotee. But devotee has more love than Krishna has. 
then Krishna can be controlled. Krishna has so much love and affection for his mother. But Mother Jasoda, he had love, his love and affection was so much that it was very, very, very high in comparison of Krishna love. So Jasoda Maya ran away very fast, more than Krishna. This is the hidden conclusion. So if anyone wants to conquer Krishna to make him control, by body bhakti he cannot be controlled. That Krishna is superior and inferior. inferior. Never he can. So by body bhakti anyone can be controlled. And Krishna cannot have love so much for that devotee. He will not con- control it. But where there is so much love and affection, then Krishna even has. Then this is called Raga Nuga ya Ragatmika Bhakti. Gopis have much more love than Krishna has for Gopis. That is why Krishna is controlled and Krishna tells that I cannot repay you for this love because I have no such love. And that is why he wants to serve Gopis. That he does also, he takes on his head. And that is why Buddha was told, Napare ham nirvadda sanjuja. No. Asamaho charanare niti samaham I want to serve a dust of gopis, Lord of faith. But how? I am not qualified to touch the dust of, even the dust of gopis. I should do pranam in, for, in the direction that put dust out there. And that is why he is praying like that. Bande Nanda Vrajeshtinam Padrenu Mavikshnasa Jasan Harikasod Geet Kunat Bhonatrem I pray the lot of feet of gopis. One dust, even it, one dust. And dust, one dust, part, particle, one person. And which means that one person? Srimati Radhika. One, even one dust of Radhika's lot of feet I pray from very far away. That dust can give the ocean of rush in which all can be. So Gopika lust, dust feet, dust is like so powerful. So Krishna can only be controlled if anyone has love and affection like mother, like Gopi. Otherwise it cannot be controlled. There Krishna, being supreme personality of a Godhead, he becomes ignorant baby. And that is why this love is object of hope. This object is most supreme. Braj Gopi Pri. Go Tomorrow I will explain further. Any Kirtan? That person playing on tabla, he will sing any kirtan? No. And Krishna Das where? Oh, Krishna Das. He is grindling? <laughs> but I fear that he may fall <laughs>
सचिनंदन गौर हरि की जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे दैट इज वन थिंग इफ ऑल दिपोटीज आर सिंगिंग कृष्ण कीर्तन देन ऑल काइंड ऑफ सेन विल कम आउट एंड दे विल and the air and if they will see that that person is not singing then the sin will come in their mouth and <laughs> understand so if anyone is not singing chanting this krishna kirtan <coughs> then all sin hello fly in the air they will come in the heart of, of that person so be aware careful of this so you should all chant otherwise this scene may come mai tara to radha radha na that name 
and I will be like some flesh. Krishna may come and do like this, but I will chant all this. Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. How beautiful this day! Can you imagine? Vrindavan, where Jamuna is flowing very gently, smoothly and sweetly. Lot of flowers in bosom, bees hammering, belly chamini and all kinds of flowers. Even in North Malaysia or in Vrindavan. The flowers who blossom in day and sometimes in night, some summer in some cold day, all, all, at a time, in day and night always. And Oh, cut down the tree, very pleasant, very sweet thoughts there. And very narrow passage in lens of that conj. Beautiful conj, have you seen? In Vrindavan, so very beautiful conj. Where Krishna and gopis and Krishna and Sakha can play. In night a monkey cannot go there. In Vrindavan there are lakhs and lakhs monkeys. Hmm? They are playing here and there in the day, but when it will be evening, all oh, they come out automatically. If anyone is there, they will dodge. Anyone does not know why, but we know something, that they will take darshan of Krishna and they will give up their body. And they will go to Golok Vrindavan. So finally they will come, that I will sing Radhe Radhe in the land of that conj of Vrindavan and it will come. <laughs>
Quickly, quickly. She was playing. Oh. Oh. How old is she? Five months. She can take? Get it in the lap of your mother, not you. You need to blow. Oh, you should sit up. Sit, sit down now. Please sit down. What? Love, Pratmeta is a idol. Claudia? Well, mantra was Shasti Vashti. Shasti no.